I want to welcome uh, I want to welcome a, an additional guest into the conversation. John Woodall is the founder and the director of the Unity Project uh, in Newtown, and he joins us by phone uh, right now. Welcome to HuffPost Live, John. Oh, thanks so much for having me. Sorry for the technical problem. Oh, you know what? It happens. This is the internet, you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so, so, John, tell me about um, where were you on Friday? You know what? Wh- what is the Unity Project? What type of, of service are you normally engaged in? And, you know, how, yeah. how did your life change yeah. like everybody else last week? Well, you know, it, it, you know, you mark your life by these major events. And this, you know, I think all of us feel that this was like 9-11. It, everything just stopped. Uh, I was at work. I'm a psychiatrist. And I was at a hospital where I work. But uh, my wife and I run something called the Unity Project. And for many years, I've been working with traumatized uh, populations even. Um, I worked in Bosnia after the war there, and the city of New York asked me to put together a resilience building program for kids after 9-11, and did the same thing after Katrina. And we, we just got back from Uganda two months ago where we've been working with child soldiers. Um, and what, in a million years, I never imagined we'd be doing this in our own backyard right here in Newtown. So what, what we basically do is, is we, we don't look at these kids as patients. And even though I'm a, a, a psychiatrist, it, our the Unity Project isn't a mental health program. It's a resilient strength building program. So we basically say that all these kids have gems in them, and this crisis can actually bring out the gems, the best parts of them. So we like to see these kids as potential role models of strength, role models of resilience instead of looking at them as patients. So the Unity Project works with large populations of kids, maybe a whole school or several schools, in an effort to build a stronger sense of community so that the kids actually build strengths out of, out of their experience, as opposed to us looking at them as victims or survivors. Uh, I'm looking right now, John, at your fundraising website through Indiegogo. It says, Help the Kids in Newtown. Um, the greatest heroes come from the greatest crises. Help the kids in Newtown yeah. become role models of compassion and resilience after this terrible tragedy. Um, you've yeah. raised uh, thir- over $3,200. Um, you know, wh- what would you want to say to people that, that might be thinking about um, donating to um, the Unity Project? Well, I, you know, I, first I just have to say that this has hugged everybody's hearts. Everybody wants to, you know, grief is a form of love that's, when the, when the love object is gone and, you know, you, your heart is broken. So so we, we naturally want to give to the thing we love, and we all love kids. So all of these expressions of generosity are people just reaching out in love, which is just a really wonderful thing. So supporting any of the programs in Newtown is great. But I would also recommend that people in their own town, wherever you are, uh, we've launched one project. Before we can talk about money, uh, we're asking people in their own town, wherever you are, yourself or your kids, uh, commit yourself to three acts of kindness to someone who really needs it this week, and then post that on our Facebook page, The Unity Project on Facebook, The Unity Project, and just post your commitment on there. You know, you don't have to post what you're actually going to do. You don't want to, you know, maybe look like you're bragging. But we want to really start a movement of people acting on this commitment to a better world. So that's something everybody can do, whether you give money or not. But, well, for the Unity Project, we're right here in Newtown. We have, ironically, a vast experience in working with this sort of thing. 25 years ago, I worked in a school shooting in California, ran those programs in Bosnia, now in Uganda, New York, and New Orleans. So we know how to do this. We know how to build strength in kids. And we would really like to see a year from now, or five years from now, stories of heroism coming out of these kids in Newtown that, you know, everybody's talking about they're always going to be identified as the Newtown kids, like that's some sort of a badge of a star. But we want to make it a badge of courage and a badge of honor that these kids rose up out of something really horrible and they maybe become leaders of, you know, what it means to live a life of compassion and service to others. So I got you, if you're, if you're on board with that, you know, join us. It, it, so this is a question for all of you. I mean, out of such sadness, you know, it seems that that there is hope and there there is the positivity of of Julie and John and, and Dory and Donna. All of you, um, is, is that something that you can feel now? Or, um, it, I mean, it is just obviously such a sad time. Um, you know, how do you de- deal with 
sort of both sides of, of what's going on right now? Uh, well, the hope is helping tremendously. Uh, Everyone that walks through our that. office with a teddy bear. Yeah, is, and, and that's that's fantastic to hear. You know, it's it's lovely to meet more members of the Newtown community on the internet. This is this is great. Uh, uh, for the, the Unity Project, we'll be working with the school districts and through the churches. So, and so we have access in one way or another to most of the kids in town, doing just the kind of thing we were just hearing about, uh, engaging the kids in service activities that build strengths in them, bring out the resilient strengths in them that we then refine uh, through the through the Unity Project methods. So, I, I think all of us have access to um, the uh, different pockets of kids. And um, it's very exciting to see the kind of resources available in the town that are, that are coming to light now. Uh, another thing that has taken place is all of these wonderful athletes, uh, football athletes, baseball, they've all contacted us, and they're going to be doing programs here in the upcoming weeks. So we're going to have someone from the Yankees, somebody from the Giants, uh, recording, recording, if you do want to give that, that after the segment, so, we can, uh, the producers can put it into the resource well below <laughs> so people can get in touch that with you. So great. And Thank John, you. how do people help you in the Unity Project? Uh, the easiest thing is just to go to our Facebook page, The Unity Project, and then our two projects, the, um, the uh, 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 signing on with your commitment to uh, commit three acts of kindness this week. You just just uh, say you're committed to that and like the page. And the other way is on the same page, on this, our uh, Facebook page, there's an Indiegogo uh, link that you can click if you'd like to help us financially. And, uh, and Dory and Donna? We have two ways. Um, if you log on to our website, NewtownParentConnection.org, or um, visit uh, our Facebook page, um, those are two links. Uh, to, you know, how people can help. And I do want to say here at HuffPost, we also have a page on our impact vertical. Um, you can take a look at it. It's on my computer screen right now. Uh, we have many ways that you can help as well. Um, and I'll just scroll down here so you can take a look. Um, but uh, there's the Sandy Hook Su uh, School Support Fund, Danbury Hospital, um, Friends of the Angle Family Fund, uh, and many, many more. So w this is in our resource well, and I'd suggest that all of you um, go take a look at this. You can see the Newtown Parent Connection on there um, as well. Um, Julie, John, Dory, and Donna, uh, in this, in, in such a sad time, I, you know, I think you all provide such a um, beacon of hope and inspiration to us all. So uh, on behalf of everybody here at HuffPost Live, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so you. much for giving us this opportunity. All right, everybody. Thanks again, and uh, stick around. There's more coming up tonight on HuffPost Live.